nice day for a bike ride. Wednesday restoration in progress. First paragraph says, Welcome to Winnemac Park Prairie. The park and the street for which it is named refer to the Potawatomi Chief Winnemac. He was a signer of the 1795 Treaty of Greenville, by which local Indian tribes surrendered the site of Chicago. Hilarious, H, capital H, I, L, A, R, I, U, S, Saint, Saint Hilarious, died 468, he was the Pope from 461 to 468, also hilarious to see Hillary, Hillary, a male or female name given from a Latin word meaning cheerful, so Hilarious, Pope Hilarious, Saint Hilarious was named after the the word cheerful, the Latin word cheerful, and Hillary is named also after the same word. Now, on the subject of saints, St. Thomas Becket, 1118 to 1170, Archbishop of Canterbury, murdered because of his opposition to Henry II's policies toward the church. So we have some words today, Tecumseh, a name, um, Iona, a place, St. Hilarius, and St. Thomas Beckett. So, we are at the Blue Door, and uh, we're going to talk about a few things. Um, we have some words to look at. I guess we'll start with this is a, a name, personal name, Tecumseh. Tecumseh. Now, I was just at Winnemac Park, and uh, Tecumseh and Winnemac were contemporaries. And uh, the dic Winnemac is not in the dictionary, by the way. Tecumseh. He was born approximately 1768, and he died in 1813. American Indian chief of the Shawnee tribe. <clears throat> and uh, if you were to do a Google search for Tecumseh, uh, there is a small motor company called Tecumseh. So Tecumseh Motors produces small engines, but Tecumseh was a real person. And uh, I bring him up because, well, before I say why, let me look at the other words we have here. I, because the next one is, Iona, I-O-N-A, an island in the Hebrides off the west coast of Scotland, center of early Christianity. And I noticed, curiously, is if you look at Iona with the mirror backwards, instead of I-O-N-A, it becomes A-N-O-I, which is annoy. So Iona is the opposite of annoy, <laughs> whatever that means. But anyway... What do Tecumseh and Iona have to do with each other? <clears throat> and the answer to that is that uh, you've seen in other episodes that I do this calligraphy, uh, and I do a um, specific. I only do a couple calligraphy. When you learn calligraphy, you you learn a style, and you have these styles like in a repertoire, like music. And I really only have two styles in my repertoire, which is a an italic and this early. Um, this kind of a uh, Book of Kells type, but it's actually not the Book of Kells. My style is pre precedes the Book of Kells, um, so it's a, a, a very early Roman style from the, like the year 600. But anyway, while I was in Scotland, I went to Iona where they made the Book of Kells, and 
and uh, we're going to talk about the Book of Kells in a minute. But um, I want to get to Tecumseh. What I'm, why, why am I mentioning Tecumseh? So while studying this calligraphy in Scotland, I uh, traveled to Iona, and I devised a way of, of essentially or I stumbled upon, I should say, I didn't really make it up, I just kind of stumbled upon this way of accessing the spirit world, let's call it. And uh, so by accessing the spirit world at that time, which is 2002 or so, I was uh, communing with the monks who made these books. Now, Tecumseh, how does Tecumseh fit into that, is that then when I got into Chicago, I... Uh, I'm living at the magic shop, like I say, and I was back in the yard behind the magic shop where we sometimes go here and out of the blue. And uh, I accessed the spirit world over Chicago, basically, is what I'm saying. And, um, and uh, Winnemac and Tecumseh were contemporaries. And Winnemac is something of a hero, or was something of a hero, here on Earth. Now we have a street named after him, we have a park named after him. But when you get up to the spirit lands above Chicago, and you get up into this region of, uh, of uh, the early settlers, the 1700s and the 1800s, Tecumseh is the hero to them. So Tecumseh is a big hero in the spirit world over Chicago. And Winnemac is something of a traitor, because he was a traitor to them, those people who are there. Um, uh, we have two more words to look up, but I want to finish a thought about the uh, Book of Kells, which is that this famous image from the Book of Kells, uh, the insight I gained is that this is actually a map. Now, we've heard of the City of Heaven. Well, this is not a map of the, the City of Heaven. This is a map of a city in Heaven. So, for example, the, the use of the phrase, the city, um, I'm going to the city, right? Now, there are smaller cities which are, you would just say, is a city. It's not the city, okay? St. Louis, is St. Louis the city? Is Milwaukee the city? No. Chicago is the city. Or some might people say, some people might say New York is the city. I'm going to the city. And so, there is the city of heaven. But heaven is far vaster than that, and this is just one of the cities in heaven. This is a city in heaven. So this is a map, and the scale of the map I'll save for another time, but I'll say the black ink, the outline, that's water. So that's this huge canal, almost like a moat around a central square, which is not actually square, it's rhombic. So, uh... But that I'm going to save more for another time, because that's a large, large topic. I want to touch on the two other words that I highlighted, and then uh, 